So for the first couple, uh, like minute or so of class, I want you to just close your eyes, pick any position you want to sit in. And I want y'all, I'm going to shuffle these cards while y'all think about the, the biggest thing in your mind, the biggest thing happened in your life and uh, any guidance that you might need. And just start tapping into your breath. I'm going to give you some essential oil. So you just rub it in your hands and take a breath or, or your wrist. Yep. Thank you. And it's yen today too. So uh, this is a mixture. It has lavender, sandalwood, neroli, osmanthus, and clary sage. Yeah, and something I, I talk about a lot is like when you're when you're doing your practice, this mat is like your sacred space, and um, you know when you first start the breath work, it's sort of a, a switch, or if you're kind of like just taking a couple of breaths, like the switch to turn on, that you need to do whatever you need to do for yourself here. So close your eyes, and we're just going to do your your like your normal breathing breath. Just in through the nose, out through the nose or the mouth, whatever you want. And like I said, just kind of think about what's going on in your life. Ask for guidance from your highest, whatever that is. And be open to wisdom that you might see, hear, or feel today in whatever form. Take one more nice big inhale through the nose and exhale out of the mouth. And then I'm just going to kind of span the cards out. 
we're not going to talk about the cards till the very end of class. So I want you to just, whatever you were thinking about, you can look at it for a few moments. And grab one. Anyone that you feel drawn to, gra to grab. And then just look at the picture and see what it's telling you. Uh, okay, then you were meant to get two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to draw one too. I like to participate as well. So just take a couple of minutes to look at all the details in the card. What is the first thing you think about? When you see it. Oh, wow. It says surface. Yeah, so just take a couple minutes to gaze at it. Can you see it at all? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. And I was telling her, I might not be moving as much as y'all, but I'll show y'all the poses and I make him like push on you or move you around. So let's go ahead and stand up, put the, oh, did you look at your other card too? Yeah. Mm. It says perspective, surface and perspective. Ooh, that's gonna be a fun. Come in. I misread the text. I thought you weren't coming today, but that's fine. Sorry. That's okay. It's the school traffic. Yep. I didn't even think about that. Pick, there's, yeah, anyone. I don't care. There's a high school right in front of my name. <laughs> and I forgot. He started, yeah. seven, which took me nine minutes yesterday. It took me 15 today, so. Yeah, I just have to be a little bit early. So I'm going to let you sit down for a second, take a couple of breaths, and think about whatever. You guys can continue to look at your cards, see what, what they, uh, just take a couple of breaths, and I'm going to come around. Think about what's going on in your life. And then just pick a card, whichever one you feel. And look at it for a couple moments. It's 
So we're actually going to start on the floor today. Your feet are just going to be wide, just kind of what y'all are doing already. But I want you to inhale and bring your arms up above your head, reaching up towards the ceiling, lifting up the shoulders, taking a couple of breaths. Elongate the spine. On your out breath, we're gonna just fold over and reach out towards the ankles, but we're gonna let the head and the neck, everything fall forward. Just allowing the breath to deepen and release. Rolling yourself back up, then you'll come up onto your knees into cat-cow. And so we're going to move through several rounds of these poses. So you're trying to link up with your breath. Flowing gently in between. There's no forcing. Or trying to make your body do anything. It's really about surrendering to the breath, surrendering to where the edges of your body are talking to you, where they're saying, okay, this is enough, or it's time to let go. whenever you feel like it try to try to let your body do what it naturally wants to do I think we've gotten away from really trusting and listening to the signals that our bodies, our minds are telling us. We sort of outsource that intuitive process to doctors or people who are have specialties in whatever we're seeking out. So I have to get back to trusting ourselves and listening to our bodies.
and start to move forward and back a little bit. So you're gonna take your butt towards your heels, press down. And then gently roll forward, just pressing the hips. towards the front of your mat. This is all your own pace. You're, there's no keeping up with me. Strictly what your body feels like it needs and the speed that it wants to go. Come back up to tabletop and you're going to just take your knees out towards the edge of the mat. And then you'll sit down in this wide legged child's pose. So you're going to take your, extend your hands out, palms down. Again, you're pushing your butt towards your heels, rest your head down. Take a breath. I want you to feel or move your awareness to the back side. So up underneath, like back here around the shoulder blades. So when you breathe, expand your back. Allow all the muscles around your ribs, Help separate all the muscles. And then from here, you're just going to slide, lift your, your bottom up, and then slide your front forward and rest your chest down. So you're kind of rolling your butt up, and you're going to take your head from one to one side or the other. It really doesn't matter, because we're going to do both. And you're resting your chest. You call this uh, melting heart or puppy pose. So you want to create that curve in your, in your low back. So you're... you're pushing your chest down and pulling your back up. Sort of rolling. Yeah, that's good. Very good. This can be very tight on the chest and that's okay. That's the purpose of it is to open up the upper back. So it's okay if you can't go all the way down to the floor. But the idea is that we're creating that flexibility to allow ourselves to. Okay. 
Now just lift your head up, take it to the other side. Take a breath. When you release up from this, just roll, like bring the middle of your back up so you're creating this arch. Drop your head down. Open up those shoulder blades and then you're gonna walk your knees up and you're gonna sit onto your heels. Bring your hands, just rest them on the small of your back. And then lift up your chin, close your mouth. We'll release forward, so bringing the arms back. And then we'll take down dog. So just bringing the body up, making sure the hands are further than the head, spreading the fingers, dropping the head through, and pressing the heels back. As you breathe, you wanna release the head away from the shoulders. So if this hurts your wrists, you can always drop your knees down. Or shoulders. I know sometimes when you're getting back into practice, it can be challenging. Now you're just gonna shift your weight through a plank and lower your belly down. Ooh. All the way down. Bring the hands in close to the chest and then you'll lift up for upward dog. So you wanna roll the shoulders back. And then just sort of tap back into this extended child's pose.
and then we'll just lift up again so this one um you're going to take your knees over to the right side and stack them on top of each other and then the arm you're going to create like an angle with it like a 90 degree angle or you can take your arm out straight whichever you feel okay and you're just going to lay down rest your head there you go perfect perfect take a breath So if you have, if your mind is wandering a little bit while you're doing this and it starts bringing in thoughts about your day ahead, just acknowledge it and then take a breath and sort of signal to your body that this is not the time to be even worrying about any of that stuff. If your mind is telling you you're staying too long in this pose or it sort of feels bored also take a breath this is how we sort of retrain our brain to not have to feel like it has to do something all the time Sometimes it's okay just to be doing this, breathing and allowing. Bring yourself up gently and just switch to the other side. So knees are gonna go over to the left, stacked, and choose whether you want your arm to be bent or open rest your head down take a breath
one more breath here. Bringing yourself back up, the legs come in front of you. So this is a version of a hip stretch. So it's called fire logs. So you stack the, the left foot over the right knee and then the other foot will kind of naturally go in that space. Can you not do that? That's fine. So you're going to put your legs out as far as you can or as, as far up as you can bring them comfortably. Okay. All right. So take a breath. And the exhale is when you're folding forward, so you're letting all the air out. So in your case, you might need to bring your arms out. The other option is for you to do like cobbler pose here, because we need to work on the flexibility of your hips, okay? But if you can do the fire log, do the fire log. Actually, I have another suggestion for you. Take your left foot in front, right foot, right leg back. Can you do that? That's the other way. Just, yeah, now bend the front. There you go. Now come forward. How's that? That way you're still getting the same stretch. There you go. Yeah, so just try to find your edge, whatever feels comfortable. If it's up here, it's up here. Don't force yourself, okay? Maybe just bend over a little bit. With yin, you want to find comfort in the pose. So if you're feeling pain or restricted tightness that you can't get comfortable in, pull yourself back a little bit. Just bringing yourself up and switching sides. So right leg comes across the front or gets stacked on top, whichever pose you're doing. Remember to breathe up first and in. Exhale. And then to go forward.
And back up. Whew. Take your body out. And then lay down on your back. Feet are going to be flat. And we're just going to rock gently side to side so the arms can be out. Then we're going to go into a cross body stretch. So the left leg is down and straight. Right knee comes up and then take it across your body. So you can grab the side of your leg with your left hand. And then we're going to adjust the shoulder. So lift up your back a little bit, flatten your shoulder blades, and then look to the opposite side. Take a breath. Use your breath to help you release. Is that hurting you? Yeah, I'm tired. Just tired. Couple more breaths here. Make them nice and deep. So we're going to roll to the other side, but as you do that, bring your leg up. And then kind of roll it over. So do like a hip rotation as you bring it down. And then cross the left leg over. Again, don't forget to adjust your shoulders 
So if you have to choose between what you're trying to release the most, I'd rather you release the hip. The shoulder will eventually come. Bring your awareness down to your hip. Breathe into that space. Take a breath. Take a breath. Okay, rolling back all the way to your back. Oh, let's pull the knees in to the chest. If you want it deeper stretch here, you can lift up and pull closer towards your ankles. Bring your feet up and then grab on the outside of your feet. Pull your knees towards your sides. So if you can't grab the outside of your feet, you can grab your ankles or lower down onto your calves. So then you'd let go of the left leg and let it just come down all the way to the floor. Keep the right leg up.
Switch sides, so bring that left foot back up. Take the right leg down. release that foot down and then we'll just lift up into a bridge pose so using your quads lifting your hips up as high as you can just breathing and holding you can also use your hands underneath to hold you up One more breath. Lower down, you'll grab your knees and then just roll yourself up. You can sit Indian style or easy pose, just whatever feels good. We're gonna twist to the left. So bringing that right arm across, use your back hand to kind of hold you up. Look over the shoulder. release and just flow to the right same thing remember to breathe and release as you squeeze further back back to the middle call these spider fingers so you kind of reach your hand out extending your arm and the left arm comes up and you kind of walk that hand out keep your arm up nice and high opening up all that space under your arm expanding out the side of your body.
when we release from this, you're just going to roll forward very slowly and kind of walk your hands over to the left side. So try to go out as far as you can. And then bring the right arm up, spider fingers out to the left. And back up to the middle. I'm going to let you guys do a couple of rounds of neck rolls or like holding and releasing, dropping the shoulders, whatever you feel like you're, you need. Don't forget to bring the, the chin up. I'm going to set up the bowls or some of the bowls. Any of y'all done sound bowls? I can't remember if you've done it. Sandra, have I done it with you? I've done it with else. So what you're trying to do is interpret the sounds. You're not judging it. You're just allowing it to kind of come into your mind's eye and letting it create a picture or seeing where on your body you might be feeling these. I'm going to walk around with this one above you. So if y'all feel me walking around, take a look at your card again, or cards. I'll give you some more essential oil. And then obviously I gave you your eye pillows as well. So place those over your eyes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lay back, take a couple of breaths. Allow yourself just to relax into the floor. 